Hello everyone, good to see you again. Welcome to my another live stream today. So this is the uh, 24th of October 2020 and this is on Saturday. So let's see. And today's on Saturdays, so uh, every Saturdays I talk about some psychology or money management uh, related topics. So today, I'm thinking about, thinking to talk about some um, psychology. About the uh, wins and losses and a brief story of how I overcame uh, these, um, these uh, struggles when I, when I was still a newbie. So, let's see, I hope you're having, having a great Saturday today in Japan, Tokyo, it's been a quite a sunny day today. I was outside about like until like 5 minutes earlier and it was very enjoyable, uh, the, the wind was so nice and the air was very nice, very refreshing, so that was a very good moment today. So, um, let's see. And today after this public live, there will be a Ichimoku membership live. And today especially, it's going to be a Ichimoku Zoom Cafe. This is a monthly event for uh, Ichimoku community members. So this public live is going to be for about 30 minutes as I need to prepare for the Ichimoku Zoom Cafe later on. But until then, please enjoy the contents for today too. Alright, so let's see. And I can see Antran has been uh, become a Ichimoku member. So thank you for joining, and So make sure to access to the community tab on YouTube and access to the Discord to get all the perks in the Ichimoku community. And WM, thank you for joining. Danish, good to see you from UK. Thank you for joining. And Senior, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. And Mervyn says, what is your view on gold? Alright, so we can take a look at the gold. But I would like to hear your analysis on gold too. Do you think it's uptrend or downtrends? Or it's in the range market? On any time frames, please let me know. Hi Kayon, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm just fine today, just relaxing and enjoying the weekend. Alright, Stavoros, thank you for joining too. Good to see you. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon and good evening from Japan. Thank you for joining from uh, Athens. Good to see you. All right. Um, oh yeah, Dear Paul. Thank you for joining as well. Good morning. Good to see you. And uh, Stefan, hello. Thank you for joining. Welcome. And Yoron, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. So. Um, yeah, um, last week I was pretty much watching the market but no trades but because pretty much everything was ranging. And I saw some up or down trends on lower time frames like one hour chart, but um, I didn't any I didn't take any trades because uh, if I ride on the one hour chart, usually the price goes up and down very sharply. So, I didn't take any trades last week. So I guess this is where we have to be patient, basically. Um, although we might see some trends on a 4-hour chart, especially these uh, forex pairs, the, the pair that I watch, the major pairs, it's been pretty much ranging. So, yeah, there are these weeks, actually, where it's ranging. And this is where uh, we need to be patient. And this is when uh, traders will 
you know, tend to lose. But I know that the trend will come uh, anytime in, in the future, and that's we have to wait for. So no rush, just wait for the trend to come, and whenever it happens, we just write on it. All right, Enik, thank you for joining from Malaysia. Good to see you. And Freddy, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. And Nathanapol, good to see you again. And Decoin, very nice to see you again. All right, Karim, good to see you too. So before starting here, um, as a disclaimer, uh, all this knowledge is based on my own experience. So when you take strays, please do, with your own risk. Because uh, we are here to take our responsibility on your trays. And I'm not here to take your responsibility. So every decision should be made by your own responsibility. Alright, Decoin. Good to see you, Karim. Good to see you too. And let's see, could you look at the Bitcoin? All right, we can look at the Bitcoin too. And so Bitcoin, what do you think about the Bitcoin? Is it ranging, trending? All right, uh, Chibuezu says, uh, good day, Kei. I'm impressed. Uh, impressed with your Ichimoku masterclass. Keep educating me, sure. Sure, it's my it's my uh, mission uh, on my YouTube channel to share the Ichimoku analysis. So you can always come back to my YouTube lives, and um, yeah, you can just uh, enjoy my lives and videos. I might be uploading some videos tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, uh, and also maybe Wednesday. Um, because I am going to be pretty busy at night in Japan time. So, but any, anyhow, you will see some kind of videos or lives every day at 6 p.m. right now in Japan time so that you can always enjoy the contents. And from next year, I'm thinking to uh, do the lives maybe like a four times, uh, three or four times per week for the public. And also Ichimoku members, I'm thinking to do the public lives, uh, membership lives like twice a week. And the rest of the days for public, I'm thinking to record a video and upload. So that uh, you don't have to keep watching these one hour lives every day. I think, uh, yeah, this year, I started to do the live every day from this January. Unless there's any personal reasons, I was doing the lives every day this year. But I think I will end the project uh, by the end of by the end of this year, and from next year, I'm uh, starting to record some videos and uh, upload more like condensed version of the knowledge's and upload on YouTube. So. Yeah, you can always enjoy uh, from my videos and lives every day. Okay, Marvin says gold range but might break down. Okay, so let's look at that one. Okay, Hui, good afternoon. Thank you for joining. To see you. Oh, you don't thank you for the, the mention. Uh, 20k. Yep, looks like uh, the number of my subscribers has already become uh, over 20k so thank you for the support everyone I am thinking to do some special live stream uh, after this uh, 20k reach so uh, I will let you know uh, I'm thinking to do it sometime um, maybe next week next next week for this uh, very long live stream or any sort of um, um, yeah live stream so we'll see <laughs> we'll see yeah, uh, Bitcoin is ranging, all right, it's ranging, and which time frame it's ranging? Um, 
All right, is Bitcoin next scam? Um, I personally I don't trace Bitcoins, so uh, or any cryptocurrencies. I can only do some analysis, but I don't personally take trades on the Bitcoin. Hi Fabio, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Oh, the coin says, "Hey, we want your live too. Please do uh, some lives too." Sure, I will. I will. Yep. Oh, Dennis says, uh, "Bitcoin USD is ranging for the past two days. It has a new support around one to five and uh, one to eight five zero. There is a new tri triangle pattern on four-hour chart time frame, which I think will break today. Not sure which direction it will break." Oh, that's a good analysis. That's a very good analysis. So, okay. I saw the Bitcoin was going up. And I think that was happening last week, right? I thought I, that the Bitcoin broke the recent high. And looks like now it's ranging. So, we'll see. So, first, uh, let's look at the gold. So I will give you some analysis on gold weekly chart, daily chart tomorrow for the we weekly analysis. But today, let me just explain what's happening on gold right now. So here's a gold um, daily chart and this looks to be ranging now. We can see the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen is flat right now. The price is gradually moving up on this end wave but after this day, uh, 12th of October, it became a P wave now. And it's been ranging basically. So, Chikou Span is also touching the candles now. So, this is pretty much a range, there is no trend to me. So, in this case, I don't know which way it's gonna break. The price might go up or might go down. I don't know which way it's going. So, better to stay away from the next decent up or down trends. Hi Melanie, thank you for joining, good to see you. Happy weekend, yep. I hope you are enjoying the weekends as well, good to see you. And let's look at the Bitcoin now. Hold on, let me see BTC USD and see what's happening right now. Okay, so this is bullish. This is a Bitcoin daily chart. And I can see that this is bullish because the price above Tenkan, Kijun Sen, Kumo, Chikou Span above the candles. So this is bullish to me. And now this is in the P wave. We can see that this is in the P wave. But because the Kijun Sen is still above the Tenkan Sen, in this case I expect the price breaks upwards this way. And actually this is for the Ichimoku analysis and I'm not really sure about the the fundamentals of the Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies so yeah regards to that I'm not quite sure but as far as I see the Ichimoku lines this is bullish so I only expect the price go upwards if it goes down then I won't look for buy chance anymore the price might come back to Kijun Sen and if I start to see that kind of move then I will stay away. Okay, um, Kayon says, um, please let me know how to, um, how to uh, dr drive support and resistance analysis good in line chart or candlestick chart. I prefer candlestick chart. I never use the line chart, but I will use the candlestick patterns to draw the support and resistance lines. I take the wicks and draw the support resistance lines. 
And yeah, that's what I usually do. Hi, Juicy. Thank you for joining. And Hussaini. Hi, Kay. Do you also use Chikou Span for trade entry? Um, yes, yes. Um, I use the Chikou Span breakout as uh, one of the entry timings. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, in this case, the Chikou Span break happened here on this Bitcoin. So it was actually happening on this day, as 2nd of September or the 3rd of September. When I see this Chikospa move pointing downwards, then I will look to sell. That's the Chikospa break. And also here too, um, Chikospa break of the Kumo is also very important. So when I see the Chikospa breaks, the single span A upwards, which happened exactly here somewhere. That will be a great, uh, one of the great buying edges to me. Yeah, Chikospan break is a very, very powerful indication for uh, the trend direction. Okay, let's see. Astronomic says, Hi K, please answer for a minute. I have a strategy with the Bollinger Band Division 1 and when candle breaks the up or down band and angle is more than 30, I buy or sell. Can we work on it? Please, can you analyze? I think so. Um, I mean, um, I don't usually take one single confirmation to take trace. So if I find the 30 angle, Degrees, I believe, angle of the Bollinger Bands up or down, then I will make sure to add two more confirmations to enter. Then it should be good. Personally, I don't use such a such a analysis or strategies, so I'm not quite sure. I only see the Bollinger Band band walking, where the price goes be between division one and two, as uh, one of the confirmations to enter. But yeah, Bollinger Bands is also my favorite in lower time frames. So once again, I use Ichimoku, but Ichimoku for me is to capture the bigger picture. So I use Ichimoku on the daily chart, weekly chart, or 4 hour, 1 hour, or 30. But when it comes to taking the trading edges to buy or sell, I use other indicators like Stochastics, Bollinger Bands, and Fibonacci Bands too. All right. Oh, Kayon, thank you for the reminder as always. If you liked today's live already, please press a good button so that it keeps me going. And hi, Tuan. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. <clears throat> yeah, so Bitcoin is uh, in a daily chart. This is too bullish. But um, let's look at the lower time frames. I think in one, it's been triangle, P wave. <clears throat> so, hold on. This is one hour chart of the Bitcoin, and as per Ichimoku analysis, yes, this is in the P wave, where we see a highs are getting lower, and the lows getting higher. So the price can still be in the range for a couple of more days or hours. And technically, in this case, we can see that the um, Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. So the blue one is called the Tenkan Sen. And the green one is called the Kijun Sen here. And these are the Ichimoku lines. And when you find that Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen, potentially this range will break upwards. <clears throat> but if the price goes below the Kijun Sen, and when you see Tenkan Kijun Sen dead cross, that will be a potential down trend break. So, from that sense, right now I can see that the Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen here. So, yeah, unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, or unless the Tenkan Sen breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, this is still uptrend to me.
Okay, I start to see more comments now. Let's see. Okay, Oya Depo says, uh, Hi K, please can you look at the Euro USD? Yep. What way is Euro USD heading next week? So, what do you think is my question. <clears throat> if you are using Ichimoku, then uh, please uh, give me impression so that we can all take a look at that pair. Let's see, Dcoin says, Okay, uh, if gap between price and Kumo is big, is it a good point? Uh, between the price and Kumo, yeah, that's the indication of the bullish trend. So, when the market is strong bullish, when the market is strong bullish, then the price is uh, actually above the Tenkan Sen. And if when the price starts to be in the range, then the price will break the Tenkan Sen downwards, but still supported by the Kijun Sen and still potentially goes up this way. And this is still good confirmation for the uptrend, but eventually the price will touch the Kumo. Eventually the price will break or break the Senko Span A. So exactly here, when the price breaks the single span A, this is the indication of the range market. And then you don't want to, you don't want to uh, look for buy chance anymore. The price can go down afterwards. But as long as the price above Tenkan Sen and also Kijun Sen, we can still expect the price is uptrend. And also, yeah, the pr the gap between the price and Kumo is also important. When you see that there's a big gap in between price and Kumo, then this shows that this is a uh, strong bullish trend still. When the market consolidates, the price will come closer and closer to the Kumo. Okay, Muna Lula says, uh, do you also use a uh, cross market analysis like how commodity market affects currency? I don't really look at these uh, cross markets. I only look at the currency by itself by using the currency strength chart and uh, other um, uh, forex pairs among the forex pairs, but I don't really look at the commodity. I look at the indexes but I don't really look at the commodity for currency analysis. And I am more towards the technical analysis than the fundamentals or the currency uh, strengths. So my analysis is heavily depends on the Ichimoku in higher time frames. All right, Astronomic, you're welcome. Okay, Dcoin says, uh, okay, in a Euro GBP, can we draw forecast lines? Uh, the Kumo is not big enough. We can draw two lines. What should we do when we can, can't can draw two lines? Oh yeah, the forecast lines. So the forecast lines are actually can be drawn on the daily chart, first of all. So let's look at the um, Euro, which one was it? The Euro GBP. Um, let's see, Euro GBP, the daily chart. And yes, the reason high was here. So, and we take the 26 candle to the future from this recent high. So 26 to the future will be uh, exactly here. So we can draw the forecast lines from the recent high to Senko Span AB at that time. And if you look at it closer, the Senko Span A and B happen to be at the same level. The Kumo was very thin at that time. So the, this was a forecast line. So in this case, the price actually ended 
slightly below the forecast line. So this was bearish. So we can expect the price continue to go down this way. Now it's ranging. So it might go up. But as soon as you see the close price below the forecast lines, then this is a range market. I mean, this is a down bearish trend. But now it's happened to be in a range. So we see Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. Chikou span is very close to the candles. So this is horizontal now. But yeah, this is how we can draw the forecast lines here. So you find the recent high or low. And from the recent high, in this case, uh, you, uh, you, you capture where the Kumo was at that time. Senko span A and B. And basically you draw these two lines. Well, in this case, it happened to be at the same level. Senko span A and B here. So I just simply draw one line. And you wait until this day, 16th of October. And see if the close price will become below or above the line. If it actually closes below the forecast lines, then we expect the market go down. If it actually prices above the forecast line, then we expect the price go up. And when the market lands within the forecast lines, within the Kumo, then we expect a range market. So it looks like in this case, this is a range market. So yeah, there is no direction basically. And as a backup, we see a Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikospan flat too. So we know that this is in a range market anyways. Um, let's see. Okay, I get lots of qu uh, qu questions, comments now. So let me just go one by one. Santosh says, uh, kindly pre provide more info on Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen crossovers. So Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross means that this is the uptrend. When you see gold cross of Tenkan, Kijun Sen, that's the bullish in the short to mid term. And when it's, when it dead cross, that's the bearish trend from the short to mid term. Uh, Tenkan Sen is a short term market momentum and Kijun Sen is a mid term and Senko Span B is the long term market momentum. Let's see. Sam says, Hi K, uh, is there any way one could get Ichimoku books written by Goichi Hosoda or other authors regarding Ichimoku outside of Japan? Do you perhaps know someone who has managed to do that? Um, I'm not really sure and I don't want to mention if somebody writes or translates the books because uh, there's a copyright and I know um, it's, it's a very strict on copyright. So, yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's now there's no other Ichimoku original books than Japanese anywhere. I write the books, actually, I write the books and these are available on my Ichimoku community. Uh, recently, I wrote uh, Ichimoku basic theories that talks about three theories of Ichimoku. Wave and time and price theories, I talk about it. And I wrote about it on the Ichimoku basic theories book. And this is available for this Ichimoku community members. But this is not the direct translation. This is actually based on my experience. And also knowledge through the original books. But this is not the direct translation. And it requires really practice. I mean, the Ichimoku original books doesn't does not really mention about the trading signals, when to buy, when to sell. Uh, if this is, um, you know, um, he talks about like bullish market, bearish market, and equilibrium of the market, but he never says this is when you want to buy, this is when you want to sell. He doesn't really mention that way. Because we're here to know the situation in the market as of now. 
but it can change next minute. So, and that's the purpose of Ichimoku, uh, Ichimoku Kin Kohyo. We're not here to predict the future, but we have to. We are here to understand the current market correctly, and that's the purpose of the five lines. Okay, I think it's bullish. All right. Oh, Euro USD, right? Okay. And I can see uh, Hussein says Euro USD is likely bullish on weekly chart with the closes of this week having. Uh, cross Tenkan Sen. Okay, so let's look at the Euro USD and the daily chart. So this is um, yeah, this is the price is slightly broke. That come upwards looks like. If I zoom in a little bit, we see the price technically comes above the Kumo here. So and also we see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. So next week we can expect that Chikou Span will break upwards, and then the price breaks upwards, and a Kumo twist, Kumo bullish twist will happen, and then we can expect the decent uptrend. But until it happens, I still say that this is the range market. Yeah, Kumo twist is also important. Although you see that Kumo breakout, if you still see the bearish Kumo, then the price can come backwards. So make sure that you find this a bullish Kumo twist to be confident on this bullish trend. Okay, Nifty chart, what do you think grow up? Is it bullish, bearish, or range? In which time frame or well, actually in the daily chart and I will do the reviews I will do the reviews on these pairs commodities and also the indexes tomorrow uh, on the on the weekly forecast so you can refer to my talk tomorrow if you are looking for something basic Hi Andras, thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right, Dcoin, you're welcome. Let's see. Muchino Frank says is 52 periods before apply of forecast line. 50 periods before applying the forecast lines. Actually, Kumo shifted 26 candles forward. So if you find the high. The high right here, you have to uh, you have to count 26 candles to the future from this high, like this way. And you find the Kumo was forming here. And you can draw the forecast lines from the high to the single span A and high to the single span B. And these are the forecast lines. So Euro USD. The price clearly landed within the forecast lines on this day, 6th of October, so we can expect a range in market afterwards. And make sure that you include this, you take this, uh, this candlestick as one. Sometimes the counting tool takes this current price as zero, current candlestick as zero. So if I if I start counting exactly from here, if I press the left click, then it says zero bar. It says zero bar, and the next one counts as one. But this is incorrect by Ichimoku displacement. The Kumo is shifted 26 candles, including the current forming candlestick. So you should include this as one, and then move forward. Uh, 26 bars. So currently, this is a forming candlestick, and if you count the candlestick correctly, this should be the one, this should be the zero. This current forming candlestick should be one. So if I start counting from one candle previous, then that's the correct way to count. 
So you have to count this as one and then shift to the future and the Kumo is now 26 bars to the future. Technically, this is the correct way to count the candles on Ichimoku. All right, so let's see. Yep, Santosh, you're welcome. Andrea says, I got a question. Uh, what do you uh, what do you do when Kijun Sen is pointing upwards, Tenkan Sen is flat, and Kumo flat? Then I will wait until Kumo goes up. So the Harshan says, uh, Hi K, how to identify the momentum is once the price is above Kumo and also lagging span is above the price. How confirm strong momentum? Once the price is above the Kumo and also lagging span, Chikou span is above the candles. And then um, you can look at the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, or especially Kijun Sen should point up, then that should be uptrend. So when you see Kumo up, when you see Kumo points up, like this way, but still, you, when you still see Kijun Sen flat, the market is consolidating. So you better wait for the Kijun Sen up, so that you can find the price will be bullish afterwards. Okay. Hi Akura, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Good to see you. Alright, Decoin Nifty is in a daily chart uptrend, but uh, direction is flat, Kumo flat, and Kijun Sen flat, and Tenkan Sen flat, and this is on bullish end wave. Okay, so when you see Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, then the price might retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. So better wait until you find Kumo up and Kijun Sen upwards also. Euro is to pull back on forecast um, forecast now. Yeah, so this is range in market basically. Hi yes sir, thank you for joining. And M Bank, cheers, cheers, alright. <laughs> yeah, Maria, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live in about a couple minutes. Because there will be a Ichimoku membership Zoom Live, which is the monthly event. So I will prepare for that. But um, I hope you enjoyed today's um, today's live stream too. It was kind of open topic. I was basically answering to all the questions on the chat. But I hope you enjoyed and you get some knowledge. You gain some new knowledge from the way I look at the market by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So tomorrow is Sunday and every Sundays I give the weekly forex forecast. So I go through all these pairs and uh, gold, WTI oil and these indexes tomorrow on the weekly chart, daily chart. And uh, the reason why I look at the weekly chart tomorrow is that is because um, the, the, the weekly candlestick closes over the weekend and that's why every weekend or Mondays I look at the weekly chart and also the daily chart to capture the bigger picture. And then along during the day, during the week, I look at the daily chart and four hour chart. And that's why tomorrow, every weekend, I give weekly forex forecast by weekly chart and the daily chart. So, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy this weekly forecast tomorrow too. And for those who are members, Ichimoku members, I will see you on the Ichimoku Zoom Cafe later on, which is about to be happening in about 20 minutes. So, everyone, please enjoy your weekend and stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane, thank you.